Hello there. The EU withdrawal bill number six, or more accurately, the surrender bill, received royal assent this afternoon and is now on the statute books. The surrender bill has now been given royal assent, so has become law. With just hours to go before Parliament is prorogued for five weeks, the Surrender Act, which is designed to prevent the UK leaving the EU on the 31st of October, or in fact ever, is now in place. But the good news is that the Speaker of the House of Commons has this afternoon stated in the House that he will be standing down by the 31st of October. This was met by what seemed to me to be a curious sight. Just about all MPs on the Tory side remained seated as Burko entered his uh, oration announcing his retirement to his fellow MPs, while all those on the opposition benches as well as the Remainers stood and gave him a standing ovation. I have to say, had I been there, I would have given him a standing ovation and sung goodbye Burko and clapped above my head for making this belated decision to quit his position. And if I were a Remainer, I would be sat glumly wondering how to continue the Remain battle without him there to help. After all, who will replace him? Now one can understand his decision to stand down should an election be called, but why the 31st of October as the cut-off date? It's not as if his work is done, even if this extension sticks, is it? The Remainers need him in place until at least a second referendum is up and running, surely? But what stinks is the pure hypocrisy of those standing to shower him with praise. It wasn't long ago that The Guardian was reporting... Parliament's current leadership is incapable of changing a widespread culture of bullying and harassment, an independent inquiry has found, suggesting officials including the House of Commons Speaker John Burko should consider standing down. But all he had to do was give the Remainers a bit of leeway, a lot actually, to be cleansed of all shortcomings it seems. Anyway, one of the things that has me puzzled about the passage of what is now the Brexit Surrender Act is that the House of Lords decided against taking out the Stephen Kinnock Amendment that was allowed to go through by default when the government supposedly forgot to put up tellers in the House of Commons no lobby the previous day. That's something I did a video on a couple of days ago. But to summarise, it seems to make the stated aim of the extension to resurrect Theresa May's Withdrawal Agreement Surrender Treaty based on changing the political declaration. Now, that could either give Boris Johnson the leeway to tell the EU that the aim of the extension is so that the UK Parliament can spend an extra three months arguing with itself and coming to no conclusions, or it could allow Boris to bounce everyone with a slightly amended withdrawal agreement. I'll let you make up your minds on that one. Another point is that this Surrender Act includes a reporting procedure where the government has to place reports and then table what looks to me like substantive motions before the House of Commons, the first of these on about the 5th of December. These motions will be amendable, of course, allowing MPs to keep taking control of the Commons and chipping away at Brexit until they find a way to totally scupper it. A general election would get in the way of that process, so don't be surprised if we don't see one for a while. But one last thought, what if Boris sent the letter as directed in the Act? Therefore, letter sent and box ticked. Then, say an hour later, sent another one, saying the UK will no longer be debating the bill referred to in the Kinnock Amendment, so the extension request is withdrawn. After all, it's the reason stated in the Act, isn't it? It would then be up to the EU to unilaterally offer the UK an extension to force Boris to take it. But that, I would think, would be hard for the EU to do in the face of French and German pride. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert 
every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.